this video, we're going to cover the student profile. We'll start by clicking on Manage Students and then select the student we want to have a look at. As you can see, Jason's profile appears on the right. We'll go through it section by section and show you what information is available about our student Jason. Underneath the student's name is the student's username and the first part of the screen gives you a summary of his activity and his results over a selected time period. You can see here that the default time period is two weeks, but we can click on the arrow here and change this. Over the period, we can see how many bronze, silver and gold medals Jason has accumulated. We can also see his overall accuracy. Underneath this is broken down into accuracy for reading and spelling, comprehension and language, and phonic knowledge and skills. On the right, you can see a visual chart of Jason's activities. You can see that he spent most of his time on the course, the green section. However, he's also done activities in each of the other sections. These are supporting activities, word lists and games. When we scroll down further, we can see Jason's personal details and information about Jason's learning. The first item listed is the course position. So we can see that Jason is currently on level B, unit 1, list A. The next item shows the selected accent. Now there's a few accents to choose from including UK, New Zealand and Australian. You can change the accent for a whole school, for a selected class or for an individual learner and we'll show you how to do that in another video. The next thing we notice is that forced progression is set for this learner and the default medal he has to achieve before moving on is a silver medal. Jason has access to games and supporting activities and he is allowed to create custom words. This means that he can create a new word when he makes a personal list. Word flash delay shows how quickly Jason can visually recognise a word. We'll explain this in more detail when we go into specific activities and in particular the visual recognition test. Word grid high score is the number of items Jason can remember using auditory memory. Scrolling down further, we now see the account information, which again shows us Jason's username. It also tells us that his login is active and when he last logged in. We can also click on view password to see what his current password is. The next section shows us what class or group Jason has been enrolled in. You can see here that he's in year two. He's also in a group called the Monday Book Club. In the certificate section here, you'll see that he's been awarded a certificate for completing level A. Now when a student completes a whole level, a certificate will appear here with their scores and the number of medals they've been awarded. These can also be printed out and given to the student. The bottom section shows any test results. You can see here that Jason took the placement test on the 23rd of May and he was placed on level A. We can click here to get detailed results of that test. Below that is the results of the visual recognition test. We'll be covering this further in another video. The last thing we'll look at is the logs for this student. If we click on the logs button, this will bring up a list of all the activities the student has worked on. We can see that the top activity here in the list has a red background. Now this means that the activity wasn't completed. In the list, you'll see a record of when the student started the activity, the name of the activity, the level and the exact word list. We can also click on the errors button to see what errors the student has made. We can also print this sheet out by clicking the print button at the top of the screen.